Jenny. I saw the first videos when you first got the thing. It was, uh, oh, that was one. Terrible. Oh, the original. Yeah, I saw yeah. the spot on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it appears as if that's it. I mean, I could try t t tightening the Where oil pan he? a little bit. Is, is it even weeping from the oil pan though? Well, you can see there's a drip right from the back of the crankshaft straight down onto the bell housing here. Okay. Do you want a light? No, I can see it pretty plainly. And like these things are kind of designed, the, the way the, the front suspension is, you have the control arm and it pivots right in the center, right underneath the bell housing. Yeah, right. Right in front of the transmission. Yeah. And uh, on the top side, it's open. So the oil that leaks out of the back of the engine drips down the bell housing and right onto that bushing to lubricate it. Oh, is that right? Is that by design? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you look I, down, I that. if you look down here, I don't know if you can see. Maybe from the front of the car, I can put my finger on it. There's like, like a, yep, there's like a little it. pindle valve right yep, there. Yeah. And that's actually designed to kind of keep the oil inside the bell really? housing somewhat. Like, because it's dripping right off it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. Hmm. And I don't. What's the little pad of foam? Oh, we, I, I put, the, put the, yeah, I put the, put the foam, foam there. there. Did I tell you about that no. idea? Well, I read. I was reading a little bit more about the prep guide, and they say. Which makes sense if you think about it. If you put a piece of foam between the engine or whatever you're trying to protect in the skid plate, then nothing can actually gather on top of the skid plate. Great idea. So if you, so if you hit something again, it's not going to poke your oil pan or whatever. Great right? idea. So I figured I'd give it a try and see how it worked out. And I've got a piece here in the middle and at the back. Yeah. Love it. We could try. Uh, what we're going to have to do, Jenny, is just have a an afternoon or. or where you can drop it off overnight, we'll let it cool, and I'll tighten everything back up, and we'll try it again. And in the meantime, maybe, as much as I hate to say it, maybe look for another oil pan, because the oil pans themselves, I can get that. Like the oil pan itself has a uh, has a little cup underneath, so you have your your crankshaft goes through, and it's got a flange on it, like a disc, and it, it's cupped in the oil pan. Yeah. There's a little hole in the oil pan. From your perspective, what would be better? Can, um, reproduction or an original? Probably, probably, probably a reproduction. Okay. Probably. Because, uh, I don't know, that's so a I'll toughie. So I'll call Ken McClarty and talk to him at the yeah, car okay. center. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they, if there's one available, which I don't know about. But I also got a buddy of mine that's got probably a garage full of yeah. Unless somebody's got a great idea that I don't know about for sealing up the backs a little bit better. Okay, I'll talk to John. I'll talk to John about that. No, I like that. I like this though, hey? Eh? Yes. That's Ruby. a nice heavy duty zipper. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like up on something. I know. Yeah, you know what? That did that first trip out. Yeah, it I did. Sakes, and, right under the box. Yeah. 